What's life without obstacles? Welcome to the CPE Agility Weekend. So I had to come over and catch the Texas team sign. Texas is my home state. <laughs> Have fun this weekend. So you are the official loony spot, is that it? Awesome. Very good. Yeah. We're from Duluth. Okay. So who is uh, who's created? This is Tika. She's running. Hi Tika. Good luck. Thank you. And, yeah, good, and have fun this weekend. Here. Yeah, this is a nice activity. And who is and who is this? Remy. Hey, Remy. Oh, she's a lover. Hi, Remy. Gonna be the guardian of the island. You don't want to go in the crate. <laughs> Hello and welcome to day two of the 2019 CPE Nationals. Today we have wild card standard and the ever popular jackpot. We are looking right now at wild card. Our judge, Pam Clark, designed this course. It turned out to be a blast. It looked fun to run. It had some good challenges, but straight ahead and fun. Wildcard has three spots that you have to pick either an A or a B. And at this level, you need two Bs and one A. The Bs being a little more challenging than the A's, just like that double right there. This course also offered an opportunity to take the weaves twice once as a B option, but the other time was a mandatory option. Like I said earlier, this was a fun and challenging course. People were having a blast and they were doing well. Pam, very good job at this design. Wild Card is one of the few classes in CPE and actually in agility where there's only 10 to 12 obstacles. It's a challenging course, but it's always fun. And it's a very nice setup for most dogs to just have fun and, and do a few little challenging things. So pay attention to this team running. They are going to be showcased a little later in this broadcast. So Mark Anthony is our judge for the standard course. We're going to take a quick little walk through on this. We've got all three contact obstacles. It was a very flowing and fun course as well. Everyone seemed to have a great time and do pretty well at it. Standard in CPE is where you can locate all of the obstacles available in CPE. Courses range from challenging to fun, flowing, and always safe for the dog.
CPE at this level in standard class, you need at least 12 leaf poles. In this particular course, there are two sets of six. And when I say at least, you can have upwards of 18 reef poles. That would be one set of 12 and a set of six, or three sets of six. It is time for jackpot. Traditional jackpot in CPE consists of an opening where the team runs around earning points. When the buzzer sounds, that's the closing. The closing is when you do the jackpot, which is four obstacles at a distance. This jackpot was a jump to the weaves, from the weaves to the far side of the C-shaped tunnel, out of the C-shaped tunnel to the far tunnel. The last obstacle, which stopped the clock, was actually not part of the jackpot. You will see, this was a very challenging jackpot. Does this team look familiar? One. Five. One. Three. Five. One. Three. Three. One. Five. Zero, one, three. This was the first of only four jackpots for the entire day. We did it. Even the other judges came Wait, over to congratulate through the building. <laughs> oh my god. Yes. Nice yes, job. Yes. 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 Right. Congrats. Thank awesome. you very much. So
ันนี้